Hello, hello. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And we are here with another video. This time is actually just gonna be a quick tutorial on the gym editor for Gates of Hell. And this is just quickly how to set up a team and an allies and some basic settings that you can set for the AIs when uh, making a mission or anything else that you want to for your own entertainment. So the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna select your unit in the top right. And this is usually going to be in F3, but I did this in F2. But usually in F3 is where you want to place down any emplacement, objectives, when you're basically doing the mission building part. Anything that has to do with the map, the physical map, you will always do in the F2, which is in your top left of your keyboard. F2 and then F3 can be your main points when building a map. F3 will do anything with the uh, scripting, uh, triggers, Anything with the like mission itself. The physical map will always be in F2. So in this situation, I did place in F2. That's uh, on my part. But so select a unit and then to your bottom right of your keyboard, as long as you have the extended, there will be your numpad. One and two, all the numbers indicate the teams. So one is red, two is green, and three is yellow. And it goes, etc., etc. Act, there is more than just the nine on there, but you actually have to physically uh, go into settings and change that for them So I want this dude to be on team one. I just place him down as in team one And then I can do the same thing press two and he'll be on team two slash player two Now a good thing. How do you set them up for being allies is so let's go to one uh, you see these guys right here are all under my control and you go to the top right where it says player and mass player the key difference between this two is the um, mask is basically like pretending to be um, basically that a uh, team and this sets its actual teams that can be controlled so and so so as you see the allies which is their highlight in green you check that it's player two so you don't have the control over it like player two or like team two has the control but it's still masked as that one team. And so you can do that um, just by there. You'd go ahead, click, and you do team two. That's how you do it. You can't uh, just place down a unit uh, as in team two and then have it automatically like that. You would have to actually just go to the mask player, click the uh, down arrow, and then go down to two. And that's how you'd have it as the ally team and so you see with the germans you got the blue which is my controlled units and the ally and as you see it is master s3 and then player and master three so that's how you kind of get an ally all set up but there is one uh important thing i w did want to mention and i uh, should it already um even allied units will still take damage from you so I believe yeah that's allied right there so do that they'll still take damage from your guys because they're not on the same team they're just masked as it so they can still take damage in that perspective so to some of these settings set the ai that you can mess around with so once you click on it there's player and mass what we already gone through there's ai controlled fire mode and move mode how this is controlled is either by the user the user will make its main decisions or it'll have its own ai that will basically do the micromanaging and whatever it wants to do so when it's on ai i believe it almost gets infinite ammo they have they have infinite ammo they never run out of ammo because it's ai controlled but if as user it automatically sets it where it has a certain like it just has a cap to everything basically how multiplayer you can it does not have infinite ammo but as you fight the ai in the campaign they have infinite ammo basically so that's how you would control that and then fire mode is basically hold which means they will hold fire and they won't return fire. Return fire is they even if they spot the enemy, they won't shoot until they get shot at. And then with open, they'll open fire when they see a target. And then with movement, it's either um, hold so they won't move unless uh, told to. A zone is for uh, triggers, and then free is just freely move. They'll move on their own. They'll make their own like little decisions as well. And then under that is AI enabled. AI enabled is just it just disable their movement and then with a, uh, no advance and no retreat this is really good setting up uh, certain kind of missions whether if you don't want your AI to retreat at all so with no advance it means it will only ever really get pushed back 
or they're only ever moved back. And then with no advance, uh, with no retreat means they will only ever move forward, but will never move back. And then you come down all the way down over here where it says te uh, text mods. This will just change their skins. So over here, select, change it to winter, and boom. We've got winter right here for them. Some of them will have winter skins, some of them don't. Some of them will have extra, and you can do the same thing with vehicles. And then another thing to mention is, all right, go all the way down. You can change the veterancy. Now that's if you really want to go in depth, but all it does is it adds a little bit of accuracy, adds a little bit faster reload times, etc. Um, a little bit more. Of, I think it has a small health buff, and then there's the names, which you can just scroll through, change the names. And then if you press F seven you can actually change the difficulty so it basically sets like how in campaign if you set it on heroic they'll change its values this does the exact same thing but make sure this is the first thing that you change because it does like kind of like doesn't reset the map by reloads it so always to, uh, choose this first once you're like loading into a map uh, before you start any like placements or, uh, or anything like that um so heroic would just mean heroic and then like the most it just it's each value uh value that um each of these difficulty or modes have it's all it, it's all it's really doing so if you don't want to see like the health bars and all that kind of stuff when you're um setting up a battle or something like that you would automatically switch it to heroic and this isn't something that you select a unit and then change it to heroic this is just pressing f7 and it would change the whole it's just its whole status and then that is basically just the gist of how to set up teams, allies, difficulty, and how to set up some basic uh, settings for the AI. Appreciate you guys watching. I hope this tutorial gave you guys a better understanding of what to do. Other than that, you guys take care. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content.